So in our last attempt, we tried using the five gallon bucket method and it didn't work out real well. So what I did was I went to the hardware store and I bought uh, some all thread, half inch all thread. I fastened it to my tabletop and uh, we're gonna give this a shot. The, uh, we cut a, a hole in a five gallon uh, bucket lid to protect the, uh, the sprocket and the rotor. And um, this is really strong and stiff. We're hoping that that's gonna hold the tire a little bit better for us and give us a better shot of getting this thing off properly. All right guys, we've changed three tires and our first method was using the bucket and the towel and putting the tire on the bucket. Now this, we accomplished it, but it was horrible. Uh, we couldn't hold the tire straight. And after looking at all the videos, we saw that having a stand is key. This is uh, what we're gonna use. And what I will also do is I will back this nut out and I will take this off and I will save it for when we go to replace the tire. So I have something that is able to uh, work for us, but I don't have to keep it this way. I can use my table for when I work on other projects. So of all the things that I've learned, having a center pin like this is great because it'll hold the wheel in place and you're able to uh, put enough leverage on the tire and the rim to get the tire off. All right guys, this has been crazy watching videos, watching uh, other people do it. Uh, we've learned a lot. We can do it ourselves. And for what it's worth, this is what we wanted to show you. 
So hey, if you guys like this video, please click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the bell so you won't miss our next episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.